In this video, we're going to explore what makes our Four Seasons different from other people's Four Seasons. Um, notation in the 18th century was quite a rudimentary um, thing, because composers wrote basically the notes and the rhythm of what they wanted. Uh, they didn't so much write the how of the music, which composers afterwards, with dynamic markings, with tempo indications and so forth and so on and, and, and so on and so forth, um, started doing much later in the eight, end of the 18th century and definitely within the 19th century. Uh, but in the 18th century, music was quite plain. Um, so does that mean that it has to sound plain? Well, that's a question that, um, of course, we in the period instruments world uh, disagree with and we think that you should go beyond notation and think about what the effect or the affect, the gesture of the music is behind the notes. Um, and there are lots and lots of decisions that one has to take if one approaches any written piece of music. Um, spring starts with... Uh, Do you play the notes? Which is what's written. There's no staccato markings, there's no dots, no daggers above the notes. Uh, do you play from the emphasis on the first beat? <laughs> or do you go to the high note? <laughs> And do you think that because the notes are repeated, that means that it, it's, uh, the effect is happy and upbeat and joyous? So you might detach those notes a little bit and play them. Which is not written to the music, but you can make that your own. When the turtle dove starts cooing in summer, then he coos in 3-8. And what Vivaldi writes is this. When this is written, nothing happens in the accompanying instruments. Um, the cello holds one long note. So basically everything stops and the turtle dove starts cooing. So these are the notes. Now, what can you make of them? Um, and this is where the music gets personal and subjective. So my turtle dove goes something like this. And everybody's turtle dove coos differently. Um, it's not written to the music, um, but because, as I said, the music in the other instruments stops, there's nothing going on, that's a sure sign that you can take a liberty with the um, written uh, rhythm and you can make it, again, your own. Um, taking time is another device that um, is personal within the flow of the music and people take liberties with that in very different ways and in different places. So for example, um, when in the third movement of summer, which is basically one continuous run of semiquavers, of very fast notes from the beginning of the movement to the end, um, I decided that it's just too much. Um, the music gets too much um, and too um, oppressive if you just run from beginning to end without taking a breath. Because like speaking um, or like running, you have to stop, <laughs> take a breath in order to um, get to the end uh, in a more successful way. So for example, um, when at the end of summer, um, having done all kinds of 
virtuoso barriolage and scale and all the other devices that Vivaldi can think of. Um, and uh, he comes to almost the end of the movement and what's written is this. And so on and so forth. Then I take the liberty of taking some time there and doing it much freer um, uh, uh, in, a, in, a, in a little bit more um, pesante, so uh, more, more forceful way. So there, just there, what I do is... <laughs> so the second of those going lines going up, I stop before it and I do it getting into a tempo so that the orchestra will know exactly what tempo I take and what tempo they have to come up so it speeds up a little bit. But the first time around I think that that's a what rhetorical device that the, in the, the, the 18th century rhetoricists called an exclamatio which is when you shout out. So you go... Uh, <laughs> and then you do it again. <laughs> because, like every good rhetor rhetor rhetoricist, um, if you say something twice, it means you really, really, really mean it. So that's why, second time round, speed up a little bit and then bring the orchestra in. So we hope that you come to the concerts and that you enjoy our four seasons. Thank you very much. <laughs>